Hi, Sarah here at the Heartfully Homespun, and today I wanted to film a video. As you can see by the title, Homeschool Fails, but we also had some homeschool wins as well, and I want to share those with you today. Um, and excuse my voice, I have been sick for right around two weeks, and that's why I have not put a video out. I had like, they called it pharyngitis, I had like a swollen throat. I pretty much lost my voice, had a bad cough. It was definitely contagious because my kids have gotten it. Um, two out of three of my kids have it. So um, I'm definitely on the better end. I didn't end up having to go to the doctor to get some medicine, which I normally don't like to do um, because antibiotics tend to like mess up my stomach. But thankfully, they were able to find a medicine for me that wasn't an antibiotic, but it was able to get rid of, help me get rid of whatever I seem to be having. But anyway, let's jump right into this. Enough about the voice, but that is, if you can hear um, my voice, it is definitely, <laughs> I have a cough still. I hope that I will be able to edit out some of the cough if I start coughing. I apologize in advance for that. Um, hopefully my voice will be back to normal very, very soon. <laughs> Lots of prayers for that. Um, my biggest homeschool fell, I feel like, well, Let's just start out. I did a homeschool video of what all the curriculum my kids were going to be using. <clears throat> and it started out that my son, um, my youngest in preschool, was going to be using the Rod and Staff, all of the Rod and Staff preschool curriculum. But my daughter used it the year before, and I just was really hopeful that my son was going to do amazing with it as well. We started out, and he absolutely hated it. Like, I'm not kidding tears. I mean, probably the first few weeks of our school were spent like my kids were crying. Okay. That was number one for my youngest. My, um, my daughter that was doing kindergarten, we were going to do the learn to read with the Christian light education. It was very intensive. I mean, for, for me, um, teaching her, I just was like, I did not want our homeschool kindergarten to be this intensive. I just really did it. Um, and if you're looking for like a boom, 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 like very intensive, you will love Christian Light Education if you are, um, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, she was crying over it. And I was like, this learn to read stuff should not be this difficult. <coughs> um, excuse me. So we were in Texas at the time. And um, staying with family, we were on having an uh, extended vacation because of my husband's work. And I heard, I was hearing videos about the good and the beautiful. So I was like, well, let me just try it for my preschooler. Um, in the meantime, I switched my daughter to the Abeka K-5 program. And she, it was like night and day. She did amazing with it. And that will be probably what I will use for my, um, my coming up kindergartner. I will be doing a video on all of their curriculum because I think I've got it all ironed out. I have not purchased most of it, but I pretty much know what we're going to be using for all of their curriculum. Um, okay, so then I switched to my daughter who was using Christian Light Education. I switched her to the Abeka. I'm sorry, I do not have books like to show you, um, but their K-5 curriculum is very colorful, very, it's just very good, and it just, it was not intensive. It was, it was enough. It was just really, really enough. And um, so I ordered that stuff for her. In the meantime, my oldest was having issues with his math. And this is where my biggest homeschool fail came in this year was um, he was doing the math you see Delta was our very first year using, do, using and doing the math you see. Um, I was really excited about it, but he just had not had all of his multiplication tables memorized. And so moving on the long division was a bad um, choice at that point, which I should have thought to move him down to the gamma and then move him back up to delta once he finished gamma because he didn't even have his multiplication tables memorized. But having the personality that I have and having not ever used math, you see, I did a complete 180 and I was like, oh no, it's the curriculum. Um, and so I did, we started doing Life of Fred. We liked it for the first few books, I will say. But my son, he's like very like for real. Like he was like, um, it was like almost, and it was like bugging him. Like, how can a five-year-old teach math? How can a five-year-old be this smart? Um, how can 
a five-year-old not eat and live, you know, it's just all this kind of stuff. And he was just like, he was not focused on the math part. And I can tell you, um, I liked math. Of, I liked life of Fred, but I feel like it's a little too much story in my opinion. And of course, this is all just my opinion, not sponsored, not, I mean, these are just all my opinion. I'm just kind of giving you a quick rundown of what we experienced this year. And anyway, it was just, Okay, so here I have Life of Fred, all of it, which I have since sold it all. But I was just like, oh my gosh, this is not working. So I was like, okay, so I rethought everything. And had I been in my first year of homeschooling, I would have been like, oh, I would have been in tears. Like, oh, I'm a failure at a homeschooling. I am this, I'm that. But since this was my fourth year of homeschooling, I've been um, homeschooling since my son was in the second grade. So second, third, fourth fifth and we were going to be going in our fifth year of homeschooling since this was my fourth year of homeschooling I was like okay let's just take a step back let's stop let's regroup I was like let's take a step back let's regroup and I ordered him gamma now I have the book (laughs) and he is doing amazing he's already on um, week 14 or lesson 14, however you put it. And he's just going, 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 going. I can already tell you by the end of the summer, he will have this down. And we, I could not be more pleased with it and really kind of aggravated with my own self for not having just dropped down a level. But having not ever used math, you see, before, I just thought, well, maybe it's just not a fit for our family. And so I just jumped from uh, Matthew C. Delta to Life of Fred. And I'm so thankful. Um, that I got grounded and went back to Matthew C. Gamma, and it's just exactly what we need, and he'll be moving right on to Delta. I guarantee you he'll be moving on to Delta, and probably even um, since we are a tad bit behind. I mean, so if you hear my kids, they are playing. They are not hurting. (laughs) So if you hear them yelling, they are not. They're out there watching a movie and playing. So they're just being kids. But, um, anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I, um, so we will finish Gamma probably this summer. We're going to continue on and do some Gamma because we are moving and we're going to be kind of in this transition, um, not have a permanent house. And so we'll be doing, um, continue on with school. And then when we do get a house and whatnot, we, I will give my kids a break then. So we will continue on with Gamma. Now, so now we have the math one now. Woohoo! Then we, um, I think I said that we, I ordered the preschool, the good and the beautiful, for, I'm sorry, this video is like all over the place. I apologize. Um, so I ordered the preschool, good and the beautiful, the good and the beautiful for my preschooler that would refuse to do the Rod and Staff preschool books, and he thrived. Y'all, I cannot tell you enough about how much my preschooler thrived. He started saying, he started memorizing the letter sounds. He started just going, 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 going. He did so much better than I could have ever dreamed that he would have done in preschool. It was an amazing curriculum. And we started out really slow, like, oh, just do a page. Like, sometimes I would have him do a coloring page in something else that had to do with the letter sound, and then I would have him do a page in the good and the beautiful, or a page or two, and he got to where sometimes he wanted to do six or eight pages. I was like having to tell him, okay, we better stop, and just kind of like, get this in our system, and make sure you remember all this, but it was just really amazing to see it. I was so pleased with it, and at the end of my daughter's Abeka K-5 curriculum, she finished so quickly that we actually had still had time, so we moved into the level K primer for her. They say, if you take the assessment test, they say that the um, the good and the beautiful is like a level ahead. So if you want your kids to be like a level ahead, then you want to do it like on their grade level. But um, like in first grade, my daughter would be doing like level K, if that makes any sense. She's not really in kindergarten. She's in first grade. But the... Um, like the pace of it and the knowledge and what they're learning is really first grade work, if that makes any sense. And I definitely had the level K and I tried having her 
do that and it was definitely a little bit above her and so I wanted to kind of throw that out in case anybody is kind of confused as to why when they see my videos why she's going to be doing the level K the good and the beautiful and it's because it is a little advanced and so <coughs> it will be perfect for her doing first grade level K if that makes any sense at all so um, at the end of her K5 of Becca she did the level K primer and it was like the it was beautiful like I cannot tell you just grouping those two together like that being like the end of her school year doing the level K primer and she did amazing and she's she's already doing reading um, just like simple books and stuff like that like Bob type books like you know level one readers like Dick and Jane type books um, and she is doing I mean amazing I cannot say enough good about the good and the beautiful it's really good and it's really beautiful um, so my son was struggling. We had to, were doing a Becca English. I think we were doing the level A. Um, I believe that's how language arts A. And then he was getting super frustrated along with the math. And it wasn't that he was just not wanting to do his school. That's not the way my kids are. It's simply that it was just a frustrating curriculum. Um, so for him and so... We moved, plus, we were having to do, on top of that, we were having to do spelling and geography, and we were having to do, you know, all it, I was trying to have to uh, fit in the art and all this kind of stuff, and I get, and so trying to fit all of those subjects in, along with literature, reading, and all this kind of stuff, we felt, I felt super overwhelmed, so I really knew that he was overwhelmed as well, and he was definitely expressing that. And so I ordered the level five because he was in fifth grade. I ordered the level five, the good and the beautiful. And it, and that's when I kind of learned, oh, that's why you do the assessment on your kids. I just didn't really see a need to do that. And so did it the right, went back and did it the right way. And then I um, ordered the level four and he has done amazing. He's halfway through it. And I feel like really, he's really done with his fifth grade work, even though being just halfway done with the good and the beautiful level four, because he did like half of a Becca English, she did half of this and half of that. Um, we did a lot before we really realized um, what we wanted to do. But I absolutely am in love with the Good and the Beautiful, and I want to show you what all it comes with in just the um, each level. It covers literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. I mean, it's everything I wanted my son to be doing all in one. I mean, these stories, the way they do the words, the way they do the poems, they're beautiful. I love them. I cannot tell you how many times I've taken pictures of them and post them, posted them on my Insta stories on Instagram. Um, he is on right now. He is toward the end of the Belgian Twins book and in his English book. It is just, I cannot say how much I love this. And I wish that we would have done it at the beginning of the year, but I feel like um, the things we went through during the year has brought us to where I know what we love. And like I said, my youngest will be doing the K-5 with a Becca. I really feel like that was a really good running start for my daughter. She did amazing with it. I really feel like my son will do amazing as well. Uh, <clears throat> so... My um, son will be doing that. My youngest will be doing that. Then at the end, he will do the level K primer for the good and the beautiful. And then he will be moving into the level K in his first grade year with the good and the beautiful. And he will be doing the Abaca K5 math as well. They do. It's a really good, just foundational. I really love it. Not everybody has to do it or anything like that, or not everybody would recommend that. But I really feel like it was amazing foundation for my daughter. And she just really took off with reading and just reading these simple sentences and did really, really well with it. And then my, um, of course, we will continue on with the finish the level four. Then we'll be moving into level five. I already have that purchased. And I have my daughter's level K, um, the good and the beautiful purchased. Um, I'll have to do her math, which we will be doing. And I believe we will be doing the primer math for my daughter starting in the first grade. I really feel like that's a really good time for her to just go with that, having the foundational of the K-5 math with Abeka. Um, 
which you will get plenty of videos on that. I will do videos when I have all of that stuff purchased for each of my kids going into sixth grade, um, first grade, and kindergarten. I cannot believe I have a sixth grader. And I feel like um, we will finish this, like I said, at the end of, by the end of the summer, this will be finished, and then we will move into Delta. And um, if he understands it, just pending, we may keep going, and who knows how far we will get. But, you know, we're good. We're good. We will finish this. We will get done, and we will have a good year. And I just kind of wanted to post this video. I kind of wanted to be a little vulnerable with you guys and kind of share with you some of my fails um, in hopes that if you had a tough year or if you had some fails or if you're in your first year of homeschooling, it doesn't matter if you're in your first year, fifth year, fourth year like me. Um, if you have fails, they're just minor. They might, they are little minor setbacks, but I feel like what came of it was something amazing. Um, because we figured out we really did love math, you see. We really love the good and the beautiful. And I just, I feel like what came of it was, was just something really beautiful. And so what we started out thinking, oh, I'm going to use this curriculum. We're going to stick with it. We're going to do amazing. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Because I'm one of these kind of people, once I purchased a curriculum, I want to stick use it. But it truly was not working for us. And I just wanted to let you guys know that if something is not working for you, don't be afraid to change. And if it's working, keep using it. You know, don't feel like if you see YouTube videos like, oh, this curriculum is beautiful. Well, if it's if what you're using is working good for your family, don't feel like you need to switch. And I definitely knew that. Um, <clears throat> and so, but I was kind of, I don't know, I've always been kind of of the opinion or of the mindset, I should say. I'm kind of a type A hard-headed mindset that, once I purchase something, we need to follow through and do it. We're, 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 we're going to persevere and get this done. And I just figured out halfway through that it's not about us persevering and getting it done when it's not working for us at all. And like what used to take like hours to get all of the subjects done, or I would have to do like, oh, Monday spelling and English and Tuesday um, geography and this and that and you know just like on and on and on and now I'm like it's all in one this is perfect for me but anyway um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye